Okay, the, the session is on the records that we will be able to share in with you after my presentation. And, well, before understanding the value of the S-curve, we need to look at it, why the projects are failed. Uh, today, people are using multiple methods, multiple technologies, and everybody has their own method for the planning and controlling their projects. Uh, we've been doing a international project management uh, consulting services in multiple countries. That's why we were collecting about the uh, reason why projects fail, and these are the major topics that the poor planning and planning process and very optimistic estimation or poor estimation and effort and budget and not proper risk management and using the wrong methods and less communication, uh, weak communication through uh, project stakeholders, everybody's approach, uh, trying as cheap as possible. Uh, not, I'm not mentioning on the planning, but also including the choosing the designer, choosing the staff, choosing the materials. People has no time for planning. Many people are using planning as a uh, contract requirements or customers requiring some reports. And majorly, people are doing the work and reporting by planning tool to customer what is done. Uh, lack of technical knowledge. Uh, projects are today complex, getting much more complex in every day. Uh, if you look at it 15, 20 years ago, the project size, project budget, now multi-international companies, joint venture, a lot of tasks, the size of the projects also causing the uh, project fail. Uh, the people doesn't know the difference between the process and plan and projects. Uh, trying to manage the planning uh, requirement in the different ERP system or uh, different type of uh, methods. Uh, customers are using, users are using, project uh, stakeholders are using multiple system in their company, uh, but no integration and also uh, there are no standardization between the people even in the same company. Everybody using some different method, different type of uh, reporting. Uh, of course, that I will just show the project S curve uh, after finishing my PowerPoint presentation. But I would like to share with you general approach. I mean that during the doesn't matter which country, but we have a lot of experience in uh, all around the world. And uh, generally, when we travel and we find out what are the people approach the pl uh, projects, you can see that we have a project start and project uh, finish, that this is a life cycle of project. And people are on the mood of, don't worry, we will manage period 60, 70 percent of the project time. People are actually having difficulties, stress for the project start. When the project start, people are having a mood of the relax, uh, because that they started, uh, they will finish uh, project anyway. Uh, let me tell you the multiple culture. For example, uh, Turkish people. Uh, we work a lot of Turkish companies. And if you work with the Turkish companies, that when they use the first concrete work uh, for them, that project is almost finished. Because the Turkish people are thinking that if we start the concrete works, then uh, we are almost finished the project. But uh, different cultures, uh, different uh, uh, approach. I live in Poland. Uh, in Poland, majority of the people are celebrating when they finish the, let's say, uh, the top floor or roof of the building. And before this, no celebration. Uh, the point is that people are really having a mood after starting project, some buffer time, and thinking that we will manage this project, and they are having a relaxing time. But after duration completed, like 60% and 70%, people find out that they are not uh, uh, progressing as much as they plan. Because they're making the panic because they see that they measure the project status for the cost, resource, and time. They find out that the project is on the uh, a little bit delay. And it's causing that people working crazy and seven days, 16 hours, we call the crazy working period. This is the time that companies are using the margins. Uh, this is the time that 
people give up from the quality, uh, a lot of shortcuts. This is a time that unfortunately because of the very hard working uh, period, uh, there can be a lot of accidents, there can be a lot of safety issues because that people are working a long time and safety is not that important. That's why it is very important to get this view, overview on the ASCAR report. You can see that we have a duration, resource or let's say cost, person complete on the uh, axis, uh, y axis that we call the person complete and here we have a time and ASCAR is just giving us information about that during the time what will be the person complete of the project. If we come to the point here which is that don't worry uh, we will manage time and come to here the red one is uh, blue one is our target ASCAR. It means that we plan to progress and to be here to have around 70 percent on the this period of time but unfortunately because of that we are not doing good that this is an actual and forecast you can see that from the S curve we can measure the project delay and this is the delay if we find out here we can easily also estimate that see that what is going to be delayed with the current performance. But the reason for that, if you find out project delay on the very late uh, period, that's why it is too late. You need to have extra works. You need to do something more to be able to catch up program. The S-curve, first of all, the biggest advantage of S-curve is helping you not to wait this period of time, but having uh, some period, which is that making the early project phase measuring the project performance and to see that where you are going and also to have a recovery plan to how to increase your efficiency and productivity to be able to catch up the program early. We call the aggressive way aggressive scheduling so that if you find out project status here not here there are too much time you can really manage the, your recovery plan. That's why S curve is very important for the many companies s -curve is that one of the most useful technique for the project measurements. And uh, why people need an S-curve? Uh, also that people imagination before starting the projects are that this is the road which we will have uh, to project end date. And this is the imagination of the people before the project start. But after project start or be uh, just the uh, people find out this was not the same how they were imagining because that there are a lot of issues, there are a lot of problems, there are a lot of outstanding problems that can cause you that you can have difficulties and it will be impacted your project finish dates. That's why you also need to have a dynamic way of s -curve, not one time at the beginning, but also each time when you enter the progress, you need to see where my project is going on. And that's why uh, Project Tracker help to people who are Primavera P6 user, Microsoft Project user, or Asta Power Project user, then can open the Primavera Microsoft Project and Asta Power Project file in Project Tracker and make the very extensive analysis capabilities in the Project Tracker. Uh, I know that people are using some different methods. As I mentioned that if you have a resource loaded uh, program, uh, earn value, will help you in Primavera, uh, but uh, majority, 80, 90 percent of Primavera users not going to very detailed S-curve uh, in the Primavera because that uh, they do not use resource loaded program. There are some customer, they use very uh, good resource loaded schedule they created, but this is time consuming, a lot of uh, uncertainty because that many companies also not controlling the resource. This is not their resource. These are the, their subcontractor resource and they have no full access. That's why they will be not able to also plan the, uh, the, their resource involvement in their project. And other way the people are using the second way that people get the Primavera program or Microsoft program in Excel and developing some macros to be able to get the uh, project SCR. This works but it is time consuming and this is just, just the, uh, providing a static 
uh, as per report and not giving analytic way and each time you need to repeat it this performance and it is time consuming so that if you added some progress today you need to again manually take the data bring it to Excel work on it and considering the Excel can uh, make some uh, uh, mistake which is that uh, it's not because of Excel but when you create the macro when you copy and pass you can forget uh, some data to bring it Excel let me tell you a couple of experience and a couple of very big issues during my ex, uh, project implementation people were copying but they were using the filtering in Primavera just the copy not all activities some activities was missing and bringing the data to Excel and because of this they had a wrong S curve it was uh, it was just uh, uh, not good that they made a mistake and project tracker give the S curve without assigning cost or resources this is very important it means that even your program has no cost and resource you can get the S curve inside of your project tracker uh, no need for exporting to Excel or manual work uh, you can also see the progress recovery comparison of the two baseline there is a gun chart on S curve which is that it is very hard to do it in Excel that in here that when you have an Excel you can also see the gun chart uh, it's fully configurable very easy to use doesn't require any training any implementation the user who would like to use the project tracker just to download install themselves and start using after installing it's very simple in a moment I will show you uh, this is not only giving the project S curve this is very important that in project tracker you can get all work breakdown structure and all activity code uh, S curve which is that you can analyze in the work breakdown structure level in the lowest work breakdown structure level and each contractor each location each process procurement design in activity code as well you can get the printout which is that just a click and to get the printout printout templates are configurable you can easily put your company logo customer logo all information this also provides the progress support in the text based and uh, inside of the system you can add text you can uh, on your curves you can filter the curves uh, it's a dynamic feedback from the progress and it's also providing the forecast and recovery lines and uh, it can be saved in XML format and share with other users and it is very effective and people when they see the project tracker when we presented their imagination first imagination is that if I have one planner in my company for the Primavera users or Microsoft user it means that I need to have one project tracker for my planner yes planners are the key user for project tracker in your project but we have a lot of other users let me explain you why Primavera is one of the best project management system in the world it's very uh, comprehensive solution uh, used by many international companies but usage of Primavera is not easy so that the person who has good training experience and can use the Primavera but other people on the site other people on the project uh, offices are not able to use Primavera if they didn't spend enough time for investing on the Primavera knowledge that's why if I have a one planner in my company using the Primavera yes he can use the project tracker but if I provide the Primavera format to uh, for project manager contract manager other people it can be difficult for other people to open and uh, read the Primavera file because there can be 40 pages 100 pages depends on the size that's why majority of our customers are preparing Primavera program and submitting the, all the people in uh, Primavera format and they can open the Primavera file in project tracker so that this is the what they need report status and they can open the Primavera file it works the same way for Asta Power project and Microsoft project the, our average uh, license usage in the per project that we counted if you have a one Primavera license in your project it means that you have 10 users of project tracker in your company there's a question <clears throat> uh, 
Mesut Baydar, Mr. Mesut Baydar is asking, can we export S curve to Excel? Because management people want to see in Excel. Yes, we can do it. In a moment, I will show you. Uh, we can export it to Excel uh, from the project tracker when we have it. No problem. But also, this is a job for planners and the managers just explaining that difference between Excel on this. I will show in a moment because project tracker provide more than Excel view. Okay. Well, this is a one of the printout example for the project tracker. Uh, you can see that we have a data date for the progress date. You can see these are the gun charts, which is that it's if you prepare in Primavera, the bar charts are also coming and you can see that these are the activities. You have full activity list on the left side with the traffic lights. It means that we do, we do not just bring the S curve, we at the same time bring the list of the activities which are the presenting that activities colors are presented to status of the activities. It means that it is behind the schedule or it is ahead the schedule or it is on time. So that we do not only project expert, we do activity based project status. Each activity you can from here see if it is behind or if it is ahead or if it is on time. Uh, we have actual S curve, which is the, this one, and we have also forecast with the actual performance where we are going to finish. We can get as soon as possible and as late as possible S curve. The people are calling the banana view, which is the, for this uh, uh, kind of report, but as soon as possible and as late as possible also can be two baseline. It means that you can bring from Primavera baseline 1 and baseline 2 and compare with the actual and also you can get it here to for forecast. Well, people are saying that I don't need any system, I can manage with s -curve in Excel. We appreciate it. I mean that we are all engineers and uh, you can do anything Excel. I mean that even uh, you can do schedule in Excel, everything in Excel. But the question is that, do we really have a time that much to spending for Excel? And this is the, my concern. Just please forgive me for showing this picture, this picture from Poland uh, uh, for the construction people, creativity that how we can pay the hot water uh, if there is a not water on the side of this. Okay, let's start to having the project tracker demo. And now I'm just opening the project tracker. Project tracker standalone application, which is that you can install any computers uh, in the Windows space. And we have Asta Power Projects, uh, Microsoft, and XML, uh, Oracle, uh, sorry, uh, Oracle uh, P6. This and also XR like XER import uh, option in Primavera. So that difference between these two is that I can connect to my Primavera database without importing projects. It means that if I have enterprise project structure in my, in my project, from the using this option that I log in the Primavera database through project tracker, select the project from enterprise project structure and open it. But there is also another offline methods, which is that if somebody sent me their Primavera file, uh, I can open the Primavera file inside of Project Tracker. Now, this is, we are just going to show the Primavera example. I just open the uh, Primavera file, select the project, select the baseline 1, and select the baseline 2. Uh, here, I just select the project, which I would like to import. This is an example of Primavera, and I just want to open this project in uh, Project Tracker. Uh, I choose the example of as soon as possible and as late as possible as a baseline. I'm just selecting this one. Um, for the second one also, as late as possible. And now I'm ready just opening the Primavera file in Project Tracker. Okay. Very simple, but now we will go to more details, and we have here uh, data dates, 
it means that may we have actual s curve which is that our project is almost 20 percent uh, let me just say that uh, this is the completed and from here to here we have a target which is for forecast we bring also here all the activity uh, bar charts so that you can see that when you just go and select uh, each activity we can also see that how many percent this activity complicate, uh, complicated uh, com completed for uh, fabrication and delivery steel for details start date and finish date uh, or another activity escape the foundation is 100 percent completed and here the remaining activities so that zero percent completed I have full list of the uh, activities here uh, with the bar chart and I have also here very small shown the let's say uh, activity list so that I want to go in the readable format because in my Primavera I have work breakdown structure and the work breakdown structures also bring inside of the project tracker so that this is my whole project but when I select for example general condition this general condition I have around eight activities it means that all the general condition as curves completed each activity I can just go and see start date finish date baseline date baseline finished the colors are presenting for me the status of activity it means that we are behind for each those activities procurement mobilization site setup and foundation you can see that for the foundation some activities are completed some activities not completed yet and this is showing me the forecast line and this is the whole project I can see the colors are presented the status of the activities it means that we are not behind with the full concrete elevation wall and we have also possibilities of the getting the the same coding in the Primavera so that if we use the activity codes and when I select I can also see here for the activity code assignment and based on this that is good okay let's not have a no uh, uh, for the scope just the coding the whole projects and let's do something else now this is a project for a guess and I want to compare with the baseline first of all what is my criteria for the S curve? We provided duration, cost, and reserve space S curve. If I select the cost, this will be the cost person complete. If I select it for the resource, this will be my resource based uh, reports. Let's go from the duration because this is more interesting. And here I would like to add this is a target line, it means that green, green line is a target line and blue is an actual line and I would like to see baseline one I select the show the baseline line one that it will show me that what was the baseline one okay and I would like to also display baseline two you can see that I can also see the baseline two and comparison and we have a forecast line I would like to see the forecast line which is that the forecast line is just having a very dramatic view which is we are not going to finish on time and it's going to finish late and we have also recovery line this is very important and recovery line let's make it recovery line a little bit bigger and recovery line means that this is the date which we want to finish and but if you would like to finish let's say end of February what should be our progress productivity as well I go to here recovery plan and select end of the February and this is the date we see that the system is also recommending us how we should speed up and work faster to be able to finish project end of the February this is a kind of recovery line uh, system provides uh, for us okay uh, 
let's just see that this is a monthly and you can also get the uh, weekly and you can even get the daily based uh, escrow and what we have we can have more that this is a baseline one and we can select the baseline two comparison okay and I would like to put a draw period target graphic which is very important that it was my baseline for the involvement and if I select the target graphic it can be showing that in February I perform more than let's say uh, what I plan uh, but in January uh, we had much less involvement 46 days and 65 days which was the plan and here also showing that in January I need to perform a lot more than I plan to be able to catch up the program this can be also shown by weekly and this can be shown also by daily this is a kind of reports and giving the focus okay and coming back to now for the duration and you can just select the cost it will give the cost you can select the resource you can get the resource view we have also another very nice features which we call dynamic status if you select the dynamic status system provides also in the activity detail on the time so that when I just draw the drop uh, for the dynamic status line it is just a listing the activities on the bottom of project tracker for the what are the activities during this day this point need to be completed with the finish date baseline date comparison and another very important uh, in, uh, point of the uh, project tracker is the project tracker is also provide the raw data which is I can here see the actuals the targets at baseline 1 and baseline 2 Excel based data which is here and sometimes I don't like to say it but sometimes we need to manipulate some data when we are providing the report what does it mean uh, we don't have to too much honest to customer let's say that people are saying this is not my word uh, because sometimes we would like to a little bit increase the, our progress it means that we want to show not this the, the late uh, to customer because they will make the panic for the 31 days so that you can also from here for example let's do it in the June we would like to or, or the April let's say in April we come to the April date so dates okay April 18 it is saying that this is an actual but let's make it menu 20,000 you can see that this line is moved to here uh, or let's make it 29 let's say 25,000 sorry okay here you can see that from here changes will be immediately impacted on the S curve uh, this allows you to get the data and uh, change it and coming back to home view and here also you can again select it for the each activities you can see that procurement activities are delayed but what about that I would like to see the baseline 2 the baseline 2 is completely different comparison the baseline 1 and baseline 2 you can see that according to baseline 1 yes we are uh, uh, delay but baseline 2 is showing that we are on time what does it mean baseline 1 and baseline 2 uh, we can have a contract which is a baseline 1 as a safe program but during the time we ha can have a variation orders or new target so we can always compare the baseline 1 and the baseline 2 for the each activity that it is very useful giving the information about the each colors are presented in activities you can get print preview which is whatever you see here you can just print out of course you can play on it and get the logo here a nice much more uh, nice looking for the printing option but we can get all the work breakdown structure printout 
or whole project printout. This is the my project and if I want to get the printout, I can just select and I can get my printout from the here with the readable format of the uh, activity traffic lights. And we have also provided text-based project reports, which is that how many days in actual, how many days in variance, uh, what was the planned person complete, what is the actual person complete, uh, target finish date, all the project growth information, slippage time, progress to date, forecast analysis, and these are the text space, which is that you can also change it if you would like to edit it. There is a view, multiple views that you can also create it notes uh, and edit those notes on the gun chart view. And uh, let's come back and there was a question about the escrow for the exports. Yeah, we can export the projects to Excel. Uh, if you would like to get the data from here, we can put it back. Do you have any other questions? Well, uh, I think that I'm not a salesperson uh, about the cost. Uh, Mesut Baidar uh, is asking how much does it cost. It is much cheaper than Primavera. Uh, uh, as far as I know, uh, I think that I will talk to our partner, Turkish uh, distributor. They will be contacting to you uh, just after this. Uh, the cash flow, uh, well, uh, Tomas is asking uh, from Czech Republic, is it possible to show the cash flow? Uh, no, we focus on the S-curve. We sh just show the cost S-curve, uh, but uh, the cash flow is not uh, provided here. But cost S-curve planned and actual can be shown. Uh, but if you would like to see the cash flow, there are other options. Uh, like Asta Power Project is a great tool. You can get the Primavera format in Asta entering the income, costs are coming from Primavera, income entered inside of the ASTA and you can get the cash in, cash out, monthly cost, monthly income and variance by this way. You can get the cash flow inside of ASTA Power Project. Any question? One thing also uh, I want to mention, which is that, well, uh, it is possible to also save project tracker and send it in the format in project tracker. What does it mean that? I open it, I make analysis, I make some changes, and I would like to share to my customer so that I can save it and send it in project uh, tracker format and they can open it. So that we do not need a Microsoft or we do not need a Primavera uh, anymore for to be able to share the report with somebody else. And we can send it, they can open the in the project tracker format. And this is our first version, by the way. Uh, we are going to have new uh, upcoming versions. Uh, there are a lot of uh, new functionalities are coming. There is no commitment. I'm not saying a commitment. but. Uh, there will be nice uh, additional reports. This system will be in a, a short time uh, as a opening the ready file of Primover and Microsoft and getting the, all the requirement of report inside of the simple applications. Uh, Arayombo is asking, can you save it in PDF? Uh, yes, no problem, uh, which is that this is a printing options. If you would like to get this report in PDF, when you just uh, print uh, preview and uh, select the print option, and if you have a PDF creator here and uh, print it, it will be uh, creating in PDF format so that you can just uh, save as a PDF format and you can here uh, save in PDF format, let's do it the uh, project for PDF and save it in PDF format. <coughs> Let me 
just find okay i mean it's save it somewhere uh yes the answer is that we can have it uh, project uh, tracker print out in pdf format no problem any other questions Okay, uh, Mesut is asking when we choose the resource distribution, is it the mass because of resource type, material, labor, and non-labor? Uh, no, this is just bringing the resource units uh, so that it's not just uh, bringing the uh, material based units that we focus on the labors one. Uh, but uh, this is an enhancement request that uh, people are asking also for the having a, here on the left side the resource breakdown structure to have a possibilities of the uh, resources but one of my customers told me that uh, on the left side using the codes in Primavera they just using some filtering by the codes and assigning the resources they bring as a code for resource structure and they get the SQL reports that you can do something like this. Uh, uh, Abdullah uh, is asking what is the basic basis for the weighted system when we use cost instead of duration. Uh, this is for the cost uh, assignment. I mean that if activity one is at ten dollars, if activity two has a hundred dollars, this is using the weightage factor. Let me show you. This is here when I just uh, okay. Let me just turn off this. Uh, you can see that we have a duration, and we select the cost. This is the cost duration, and we can apply the weight uh, weightage in here so that it can be also used by the assignment of the weightage by this way that weightage factor will calculate the cost any question and Mehmet Akif is asking how many baseline does we can use two at the same time so that you can bring it baseline one and baseline two uh, and this is the two selected baseline and actual can be compared at the same time any more questions Okay, uh, Abdullah is asking if there is no cost in Primavera, where we can put the cost? Actually, uh, you can enter the cost uh, here if you don't have in Primavera. But uh, let me just try something, which is here. You can see that in the raw data we have a date, these are the actual units, target, baseline and actual. There is a plan which we are going to edit here, actual cost and plan cost which you can type it here manually. And this is a one of the enhancement requests which we requested from project director development team. The reason for that, uh, we would like to bring plan from Primavera, actual from SAP or Oracle EBS because people are generally planning in planning system for budget but not updating in planning system they are updating in the their ERP system and financial system we are working on that but at the moment you cannot enter the cost information inside of the uh, project tracker if you not uh, planned in uh, in Primavera but there is also a method which is that you can just export this to Excel and in Excel you can enter the actual cost and plant cost inside of the Excel.
at the moment uh, Mesut is asking if we can import it here uh, we are working on the uh, possibilities of the bringing the multiple system data to here as a integration application we want to bring it we are bringing the plan in Primavera in Microsoft in Asta to here and we would like to bring another financial information from other system we are working on it at the moment not but uh, we would like to do uh, because we, we have a, a technology we can import anything to from the XML uh, format uh, we are working on that to be able to giving the many customers uh, solving their problem because that they keep the actual cost and everything in ERP system and financial system plant data in the planning system. These are the one of the biggest pain at the moment in the market. I think that we are working on it and we will solve it in the uh, near future. Okay, Emir Tosun is asking that they would like to uh, import uh, multiple different projects and make the comparison. Uh, project tracker is not a, like a claim figure or project comparison like in Asta to compare two different projects. Project tracker just allows bring it here the project and the baseline. If other project in the compatible mood like you can just save in a different baseline yes because uh, but it has to be well uh, uh, designed. Let me show you what, what I mean. Uh, as you know, I am bringing the here. Uh, let's just uh, turn off this and open again the project tracker. And in the project tracker, you can see that actually what I am doing, I am importing one, two, and three projects but you can import three different files because these are the files actually I'm just selecting the file number one okay and I am selecting the file number two these are the separated files okay and file number three you can bring it three different projects technically possible uh, project tracker will allow but Remember that we are using s -curve and comparing Apple to Apple. If the project 1 has start date January 2013, the project 2 has a start date uh, January 2014, there is no sense bringing the three different projects and make a comparison. But possible. I mean, if you plan uh, well uh, what you want to get, we can allow, I mean, Project Tracker allow to importing three independent projects on the one, uh, one, one, one file. Okay, Tomas is saying that uh, project tracker collapse when we try import little different project. Uh, Tomas, uh, this is uh, possible because let me tell you why. Uh, many people are using different kind of user defined field, uh, different kind of uh, settings such as uh, comma, different currency, different that kind of things. Actually, project tracker is not collapsing because of the project tracker. Project tracker is collapsing because of the Primovera. Uh, for example, let me explain you why. Many people are also having that Primovera file. If you have a Primovera file, if you send it to me, when I would like to open the Primovera file, okay, sometimes I'm not achieving to opening the Primovera file. The reason for that, because we are also uh, Oracle Primovera support provider, the reason for that, your currency setting and local setting. You use comma instead of dot. You use a different kind of local currency. That's why our support guy is always saying that go to properties in Primovera, go to settings, change the comma to dot. If you have any problem, we test it 
Project Tractor has now Chinese version, Russian version, Turkish version, Polish version, and the multiple uh, currency tested versions. We are not going. We are not having any problem anymore. Uh, but if you have any project, you are having a technical difficulties. You can share with us. We can look at it and we can tell you what is the reason that you cannot open the uh, in project tracker or it's collapsing. We will change it and it will never collapse again. Any other questions? Do we have any questions more? By the way, uh, tomorrow we are going to have uh, tomorrow we are going to have two sessions, uh, which is that uh, one will be Tilos and another will be for Asta Power Project for tomorrow. Uh, I would like to also share you the recent information that we are going to have a, a Tilos Primavera. As the Power Project and Project Tracker uh, uh, user conference and the very big project management conference in Hong Kong and Singapore and Malaysia this month. So that I will be there presenting uh, this presentation. Uh, we have also groups, which is that you can also come, ask your question, get discussion with the TILOS uh, for the TILOS groups and Project Tracker groups. We have a Project Tracker. Uh, groups that you will be able to also uh, become a member of this project tracker groups in the uh, LinkedIn and get connected to those people who are using and an experience and also ask your question here in the LinkedIn group for the project tracker. We are having here a lot of videos. Uh, you can also follow up. Uh, if you want to test the project tracker, please let us know. Uh, our friend project product specialist Shevkat will be providing you. Happy to test it on your project. He can help you for his responsible person of the project tracker in, uh, in future network development. Any question? I think that this is the time for me that I finished.